Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Shalom. All praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who have dubbed in his truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners that have the appearance of the other heathen nations? but are Israelites according to the seed line of your forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob whom is scattered here in America which is Babylon the Great and abroad to you I say Shalom and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shara Tazah this lesson is edifying now in this lesson we, we will expand upon the word of the day today being December 28th 2019 and today's word of the day is impervious 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 which means not allowing entrance or passage impenetrable not capable of being damaged or harmed not capable of being affected or disturbed and during the time of Jacob's trouble the heavenly father Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai will preserve his elect he will save he will deliver his elect all right the heavenly father yahweh through son yahweh shai will make his elect impervious during the time of jacob's trouble the lord will not cause anything to harm his elect anything to damage the faith or minds of his elect. Okay. Now, of course, we will go through trials and, and tribulations, but it is written in the scriptures that the Lord will provide for his elect, even as he had provided for our forefathers in the past, one of them being Elijah, when he had provided food by way of ravens and a brook of water to or for for the Elijah to eat and to drink during the time of famine all right and as the Lord had done that for our four for the Elijah and also our other forefathers we have King David and so likewise would the Lord do the same today for his elect all right and during the time of Jacob's trouble not capable of being affected or disturbed because the elect of the nation of Israel we will have a sound mind during the time of Jacob's trouble because we're gonna have the wisdom knowledge and understanding of the Heavenly Father Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai which will keep us stable we will have the fear of Yahweh why Yahweh Shai Thus, we will not be affected or disturbed by all, excuse me, by all the things, pardon me, by all the things that will occur during the time of Jacob's trouble. We're not going to be affected. <coughs> We're not going to be harmed. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. Again, alas, for that day is great. The day of Jacob's trouble will be a great, unprecedented day that will eclipse the atrocities of slavery and those that, are, that have been extremely detrimental over the course of history upon the planet Earth so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Jacob represents Israel. <coughs> But he shall be saved out of it. And that's the key point. But he shall be saved out of it. And the elect of the nation of Israel will be saved out of Jacob's trouble. All right. And the Lord is going to keep his elect impervious. 
And here are, here are some scriptures proving that. One, Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation, the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So the wisdom and knowledge of the heavenly father Yahweh, which is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, is the fear of the heavenly father Yahweh through son Yahweh Shai, shall be the stability of the times during the time of Jacob's trouble of the elect of the nation of Israel. And that is why the elect, that will be one of the reasons why the Lord will keep his elect impervious. He will not be capable of being affected or disturbed by all the detrimental atrocities that the Lord will bring upon the planet Earth by way of Jacob's trouble. And why is that? One of the reasons is because the elect will have the fear of the heavenly father Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai. And the names of the heavenly father Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai. And the fear of the heavenly father Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai is the beginning of knowledge and also the beginning of wisdom. And the wisdom and knowledge of the heavenly father Yahweh through Son Yahweh Shai shall be the stability of thy times. In times of the elect of the nation of Israel during the times of Jacob's trouble. And strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. So the fear of the heavenly father Yahweh is the treasure of the elect. Okay. And specifically of the elect men of the nation of Israel. And that is one of the reasons why the Lord will cause his elect to be impervious during the times to come. Another reason is the book of Isaiah chapter thir Isaiah chapter 60, 60 63 excuse me 64 or is it 65 65 and 65 verse 13 Straight to the point. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. <coughs> Behold, and this is a message to the nation of Israel, right? Specifically, to two thirds of you of the nation of Israel. This is what the Lord says will happen, and this is what He will do against you and for his servants his elect his prophets during the time of jacob's trouble that will keep his elect impervious isaiah 65 and 13 therefore thus saith the lord yahweh behold my servants shall eat my servants shall eat and the servants of the heavenly father yahweh through his son yahweh shai will indeed eat food and be satisfied during the time of Jacob's trouble, during the time of famine, that is, a lack of bread. Thus, they will be impervious by way of the grace, by way of the mercies of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai during the time of Jacob's trouble because the Lord is going to provide for us during those evil times. We will not be damaged or harmed by thirst or by hunger. Why? Because the Lord states that we shall eat. His servants, my servants, shall eat. Okay? So we will not be affected or disturbed or damaged by the lack of bread. All right, that is hunger. And also for thirst. But unto two thirds of the nation of Israel, but ye shall be hungry. And two thirds of the nation of Israel, they will not be impervious during the time of Jacob's trouble. They will be subject to damage and harm 
they will be subject to being affected and or disturbed by the evils during those times. Behold, my servants shall drink. So the elect of the nation of Israel will be able to drink and will drink as they will also eat during the time of, of Jacob's trouble. And that is another reason why we will not we will be impervious by way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh We will not be affected or disturbed by the want of thirst for water to drink. Look at our forefather Elijah, as I had stated earlier. The Lord provided him with a brook of water to drink. And he drank the whole brook. And that lasted him for a while. But ye shall be thirsty. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, you will be physically thirsty and also more so spiritually thirsty, pursuant to the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11, because you will be hungry and thirsty for the for the hearing the words of the heavenly father how we do son how we shy because the words of the lord liken unto what water behold my servants shall rejoice and the servants of the heavenly father how we do son how we shy the, the prophets as well as the elect of the nation of israel will rejoice during the time of jacob's trouble because we at that time will understand that it is prophecy coming to pass and that we will be even more closer to our deliverance by the hands of our, of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach alright we will also rejoice over the fact that the Lord will keep us impervious because we will have the knowledge and wisdom of the heavenly father Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shah, which will keep us stable in those times we will also have as we had read in a few lines up in the verse you will have food to eat and water to drink we will not be affected or disturbed by these detriments that will be brought upon the world during the time of Jacob's trouble but ye shall be ashamed. And two thirds of the nation of Israel will in fact be ashamed because they're gonna bring back to mind the words of the heavenly father, how we do send you how we shall, which was spoken unto them. As they were being admonished to it by way of the prophets, but they didn't take heed. And that's why they're gonna be ashamed. They're gonna say, Oh man, we effed up. What these men were saying were true. That were on the street corners. We should have listened. And because we now we didn't listen, this is what's happening to us. And they will be ashamed. Verse 14, Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, for ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And so, the elect of the nation of Israel, by way of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, will be made impervious during the time of Jacob's trouble. And so I pray this lesson was edifying to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. And until the next, Shalom.